So I got a shady looking email. Pretty standard. I'm sure you've seen a million of them before. So first thing I just want to point out, uh, Stripe is misspelled. That definitely says strip, which is hilarious because if you click on it, it's going to definitely open strip.com. Scammer or no scammer, I'm pretty sure that's not what was intended. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to the email here. It also includes an HTML document that tells you that you're about to be charged a lot of money if you don't verify the payments. At first I thought, oh, this is going to be a lame attempt to grab up my IP address, but actually it's a phishing website, which basically means it's a fake website designed to look real so that it can steal your credentials. In this case, looking at the source code, I can see that it wants your username and password, and then once you uh, click log in, it basically sends those over to the server. Uh, but the server is obviously fictitious. It's not uh, stripe.com. It belongs to whoever the scammer is. So whenever I get these scammer servers, I always like to look at them and analyze them to see if I can figure out who they belong to or if I can maybe even shut them down. Now normally it takes you know an hour or two of digging around to find something useful, but this actually was super easy. What you're looking at here is the actual site index, and the reason this is dangerous to have publicly available to the World Wide Web is that it lets me look at all of your files. <laughs> Normally that's not like a huge deal, except with this one there's a folder that has a source code for his actual application that shows me how it gets the username and password and then sends it via email to him to that Gmail account. So every time somebody falls for the scam, he gets an alert notification with the person's credentials. Uh, that's definitely something that is exploitable, but more on that later. Little side note, the password for that Gmail account is actually hard-coded into that folder in plain text. Of course, I'm not going to log into it because that would violate the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. On the other hand, he did email me asking me to log in, and it's not my fault. He gets an email every time I try to log in. Okay, I'll take him up on that offer. I'm going to try and log in over and over and over again. Hope you didn't link that email account to your phone and get notifications on it, but given how excited you get when people probably fall for your scam, I'll bet that you did. I could do this manually, but who has the time? Anyway, the idea here is to flood his email address with thousands and thousands of emails. So I wrote myself a script here that automates the action of logging in. It generates a username and password that are random, and then it goes ahead and just loops endlessly. Uh, also, I didn't want to do this from my IP address, so I'm gonna have this go through one of my proxies. And here it is in action. Now, just remember that each attempt is an email that he is going to get. I'm gonna let this run and come back in a few hours. Right before the server went down, we were able to send about 10,200 emails. I've been checking it all day. It's still down no matter what IP I come from. I had friends check it. Uh, it looks like it is down permanently, which means the scammer freaked out, packed up and went home. We're gonna call this one a win.